Hi there, this is Jag Kakarlapuri, your Office 365 daily blogger. This week, I've been talking about Microsoft Forms. You know, we looked at some of the limitations of the forms. You know, we also yesterday we looked at uh, forms for Excel, where the way you can actually create a form and store your responses uh, within an Excel uh, Excel worksheet inside your SharePoint library or OneDrive library. So today I just just wanted to talk about some of the frequently asked questions around Microsoft Forms. So you know this, these these questions are quite frequently asked in the Microsoft community, and I just just want to address them with you. One, when do you use you know Microsoft Forms versus you know different um, like say Power Apps or SharePoint lists? And can you actually build the actual question is can you build complex forms, business forms using like uh, using the Microsoft Forms product? I would say no. Uh, Microsoft, first of all, Microsoft Forms can only take um, 95 questions. That's the hard limit. You can't have more than 95 questions. So if you're looking at a, a complex form with, let's say, you know, multiple branching and, and more than 95, Microsoft 95 questions uh, within, the, within the survey, it's it's a no-go. And not, not only that, not, not many forms have 95 questions, but some do. And if you're looking at, let's say, we spoke about this in the limitations as well. If you're looking to build complex forms with, you know, form validations, like you know, and you know, with complex uh, field types, file attachments, and so on, then Microsoft Forms is no no go. And uh, you would, uh, I would suggest to look into, you know, going with Power Apps or even thinking about a third-party product like, like um, Nintex Forms or, or so on. And there's a few other forms as well which we'll talk about them in you know we look at as as you know in, in the coming days um the other question uh, i also see is what's the difference between forms for excel and and your traditional forms you know the one i showed you yesterday versus yeah, let's say you want to create a, a simple form inside the you know microsoft forms how is it different they're both almost the same except for uh, with Excel uh, form, forms for Excel, you have a live connection with an Excel spreadsheet. So uh, by that I mean you have a live data connection. So the moment a, a responder submits the form, the responses get actually, uh, uh, you know, pushed into an Excel sheet automatically. Whereas in the traditional form, uh, you know, the the responders get stored within the Microsoft Forms, and and there is a there is there is an uh, there's there's a capability to actually export those responses retro, uh, after the fact. So that's the main difference, but mostly, uh, you know, they're almost the same product apart from that. Um, so with the live data connection using Forms for Excel, the best thing about this, you can actually, once, because it's a live connection with an Excel sheet, you could use the Excel uh, worksheet as a data connection for Power BI. Let's say you wanted to create a, a, a survey, a, like a customer feedback survey, and you would you want to connect that to a live real-time dashboard on, in Power BI, then Forms for Excel is the way to go. And uh, there's a few other questions I see quite often. Uh, I think one last question I see quite often is, is can I, if I, if I create a form, let's say using forms for Excel inside a, a SharePoint site, can I actually reuse that uh, same form in multiple other sites? Let's say you want to create a form for T-shirt survey within an event, and would you, uh, can you actually reuse that form or the Excel sheet in a different event down the track, in a different group site? The answer is unfortunately no, uh, you can't, it doesn't support that uh, and, and apparently Microsoft I guess is working on, it's in their backlog to support migration of uh, or duplication of copies, uh, you know, uh, the forms for Excel forms. <laughs> it's really hard to say, keep saying forms, forms, forms. So anyway, um, that's it. Um, that's that's a quick, uh, you know, you know, touching base with like just to give you guys an understanding of what Microsoft Forms product is and so on from a from a theoretical aspect. Uh, tomorrow, stay tuned because I'm going to actually uh, do an in-depth video um, on on creating a, a, a business application like called Employee Net Promoter Score System using Microsoft Forms. Um, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. Thanks. And uh, if you are not connected, uh, if you're not connected with me on LinkedIn yet, uh, please do and, and uh, stay. Uh, provide me with feedback on these videos that I've been doing in the last two weeks.
appreciate your feedback and uh, and also if you if you want me to cover a certain aspect of office 365 please don't hesitate to leave your uh, um, your request in, in the comments below thank you and uh, stay tuned for the next video tomorrow cheers guys <laughs>